everyone. This is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome back to Lovecraft Country and the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. And one of the advantages of a game like this is when you walk away from it, sometimes your brain processes all the information that you um, absorbed and it analyzes and it realizes that you missed something. Now with Bryce, I missed the fact that he mentioned about Dr. Decker might have killed himself, which is major thing to deal with and the problem was when i originally recorded it on the session before there was a bit of a mistake and i didn't get a good quality cat so but i can tell you what he said in glorious sepia tone come on all right right responses decker suicide here we go he wasn't a good man i don't know how he could live with himself perhaps he couldn't there we go. So that's what cleared uh, Bryce. Now, from this point onward, we'll be moving on to the next person. Okay, patience. Okay, Claire. Okay, so Claire, what do you look like? Come on, materialize into frame here. Oh, okay. Getting sort of an uptight suburbanite kind of sort here. So let's see what her problem is. Uh, besides apparently a complete lack of personal social distancing, Claire, get back on the couch. Anyways, so one of the things about this game is that it can have some subtle clues. The name of this act is, of course, Who Are You? So let's just ask, Who Are You? My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. I'm sorry, my previous person who was killed, and apparently all the files consist of is a montage with somebody's credits on it that we saw at the, the first episode. So you're going to have to... Uh, Bear with me here. Why are you paying a small fortune? Being rich has its perks, but honestly, I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. I'll take your money for you if you cure you. Okay, how much am I making in these sessions anyways? Um, aren't I part of the NHS? Am I just getting a basic salary? It never really gets explained. Hey, stop. Is that my paycheck? Anyways, tell me about the madness. I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. I'll get to that. Oh, seriously? Why are you all putting me off here? All right, fine. You want to talk about you? Let's talk about Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Okay. You were... Don't walk into me. Wrong about him? If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. But I don't. I think that's just the standard. Of, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so why are you here? Let's get to the million dollar question. Because apparently you've got a million dollars or a million pounds. Well... According to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Are you going to kill me? Did you kill Decker? Oh, for crying out loud. Tell me uh, about your delusions. Delusions. As in seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. Oh, I'm not you're... delusional. Sure, as whatever delusional person says. Okay, tell me about your obsessions. Is she staring at the sc at the typing? Sorry, I don't know. Okay, fine. We'll make it obsessive tendencies if we have to be specific. That's yeah, the thing about parsers, is that you have to do exactly right, or it just goes, huh? I'm obsessed with my husband. I'm not terrible. It's absurd, really. Oh, we're going to like have to drag it all out of you, isn't it? Absurd. Uh, hang on, let's switch over to the uh, responses one. So yeah, looks like we got a bunch of ones here to go through. Why is it absurd? I don't have anything to say about that. Why? Did I misspell that? I thought that absurd would definitely A B S U R D. Yeah. Also, I should put the caps on. Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. Why 
shouldn't my spelling's gonna be a worse enemy here shouldn't he be here he's lucky to be alive he almost died like do you oh god you're like the least gregarious one here how did he almost be yeah. My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. Okay. Why isn't he a well man? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Oh, you're rich. Get a freaking nurse. Seriously, there are private nurses in Britain, right? I mean, frankly, aren't a lot of those Victorian novels always have the nurses living in places here with fading husbands and um, haunted castles? I, she keeps walking through me. It's very disturbing. Okay, how has his health deteriorated? Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. His mind's become less and less active, too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. Most marriages end like that. I mean, okay, tell me about caring for him. David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. You're like rich. Why can't you do that? Ugh, good gods. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um... Mm -hmm. Also, we should go back to the uh, history of violence. Kind of like to know if, the, if I'm dealing with a killer. To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. Oh, for... Uh-huh, uh-huh. You've been talking to a lawyer, haven't you? Oh, God. Tell me about the violent outburst. Get back on the couch. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? Depends. Was he properly ma properly cooked? Did you stab him? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. <sighs> not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. Okay, that she's got me there. Okay, so tell me about the lake house. David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. What do you mean about... Oh, about the altercation. Get some details. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but... I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. I'm sorry, you stabbed somebody, that's assault. It doesn't matter. No, this is ironic. We're actually seeing a uh, domestic... We're seeing, we're seeing a married couple, but where the abuser is the woman. I'm guessing she inherited money and her husband's working, because an optician, especially in Britain, where the NHS um, is running things, is not... Pardon me. It's a lot of talking. Sometimes I have to take a drink. An optician's going to make a huge amount of money. So she inherited two houses, Lake House, her brother's house, all of her money. She marries a guy. She start, He starts, um, you know, stopping the uh, assistant, and she stabs him. You're going to get arrested for that. Divorce. You could just divorce him. You can say that you've got most of the money. You brought it most of it, and you take it both out, and he has to live with Iris and whatever money he can get off his career. I mean, it's better than stabbing a person. Uh, do you get angry often? I never used to get angry. 
ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Yeah, she's, she's a psycho. Why is it bad to lose control? Yes, Bryce has the same issue. Let's save that for another time, shall we? Oh, for crying out loud. I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 I see you looking at the door there, but we're not done. Uh, how... What does David do for work? I think we'd get along a lot better if you stuck to asking me one question at a time. Oh, right. Does David work? Because actually... He's in a state. He can't. I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Please be more specific. Who is David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Hmm. Let's see what these actually mean. Why do the police think you're dangerous? I think we'd get along a lot better if you stuck to asking me one question at a time. Ah, uh, right. I forgot. Why do the police think you're dangerous? How many times do people do think? Ugh. Also, police just never bracket in it. Yeah, yeah, okay, don't look at that. I don't understand what you're getting. Police, just tell me about the damn police. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. Yes. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. I see. Yeah, one set of justice for the rich, one for the poor. I got it. Why aren't you in prison, bitch? <laughs> Can't write the bitch one. I suppose after what I did, there are people that might think I belonged in prison. What do you think, Doctor? Can I be saved with therapy, or should I be locked up like a dangerous criminal? Uh, you can be saved with therapy. Kind of going along with her in this one. I want to string her along and see what she has to say. You have a lot of faith in your abilities. That's good. I look forward to being completely cured. Great. Might involve the lumbotomy. Do you think Decker was... Okay, does, does David work? Come on. David doesn't work, no. There we go. He's not very communicative anymore, so a job is out of the question. He used to be an optician. Now he just spends all his time at the lake house, frittering his time away. Frittering his time away. He abhors technology. Mainly he hunts things and then creates huge, unwielding fires that I'm sure will be the death of him and the lake house at some point. Is your husband a caveman? Okay. Tell me about Decker. There we have. How well did you know Decker? Sometimes you gotta hit these things at a different angle. I didn't really know Dr. Decker that well. I never met him outside of our sessions, and we spent those discussing my therapy, not making small talk. Hmm. Do you know who killed Decker? It's just right to the point. I don't know who killed Dr. Decker, but I imagine that in his line of work he met a lot of unstable people. Perhaps he pushed someone too far. Push? I don't know, actually it says... Oh my god, I misspelled who. It still worked, though. Anyways, um... What happened to Iris? Did you kill her, too? Well, okay. You stabbed Iris her. was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. No, not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. I hope not. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Wait. Optometry was his dream, not mine. Catch that? You see, there's these little, little um, slips in time and space here. Notice that what happened with David is what they said down there in the uh, 
I'm pointing the screen as if you can see, is down down there was pointed in the subtitles, but she said something completely different. And remember, Bryce actually will freeze, unfroze, and unfrozen time for a second. It's these little things. And I think you won't notice them during the playback, but uh, did you kill your husband? A bit of a... That sounds like a question I shouldn't answer without a lawyer present. Client privilege okay i cannot be compelled as a therapist to testify upon my patients that's still the law i think and britain might be slightly different but it's usually considered counterproductive if they consider you to be a witness for the prosecution if you're trying to help them okay okay why can't you hire someone for david david's not ready for company i hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself I really don't think field trips are a good idea. Uh, do, do you consider yourself sane? Who's to say who is sane or insane? My job. We all see the world differently, don't we? Ooh, you sound like the guy in the beginning of the game. Are we talking about full... Yeah, I don't like that look. Are we talking chaos theory here? We're talking quantum... Um, and we're talking quantum world reality on that, on to okay, quantum view of reality in which multiple possibilities are independent of the observers. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see. How long have you been married? We've been married for seven years, but we don't have any children. Thank God. Why don't you have children? David wanted children, but I didn't. I don't think we would have made very good parents. Agreed. There's no mystery to it. Some people are just not cut out to be parents. I don't think I can see either of us wiping sticky fingers or mending grazed knees. Mm hmm. How many, he said he wasn't very long. How many sessions did you have with Decker? I've been seeing him for about three months. Mm hmm Okay, I don't know why that's terribly relevant, but I just wanted to know. What problems are you having? I should have divorced him. Yes! I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. Like you killing him? We're going to have to come back to that, because it's kind of a Schrodinger's cat. Is David alive and not alive? Which is theoretically possible. Okay, what help do you want? I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. Why do they think you've lost your mind? They think I'm seeing things. Making things up. I don't want to talk about it. What's the point of this, then? Uh, wait, what job do you do? She's going to be idly rich. Watch it. I don't work. Yeah, there we go. I don't go. need to. Everything's paid for a hundred times over. What would have been avoided? Our altercation. The downfall since. Why didn't you divorce him? Divorce is such an imperfect means of separating two people, don't you think? No. I suppose I don't really mean it. I thought he was my soulmate and that I would do anything for him. Yeah, there's that. That's a weakness that has caused me problems. Soulmates are an interesting concept, by the way. I mean, the idea that somebody that was perfect just for you and was meant for you all along and you fit each other, it, it, it just sounds too up utopian. Utopia meaning nowhere, by the way. <laughs> It was actually, Utopia is actually an insult. It's supposed to be a story back in Greece about a perfect place that could never exist. The thing is about soulmates is that most of the time, most relationships are two people with their own problems and issues and damage, but they have mutual attraction and are willing to work together and overcome those things to make a relationship work. It's the messy ones, I swear, where people don't think everything's perfect for the ones that survive, that endure. And that's just my opinion. Okay, okay, okay. What is the downfall you're talking about? Don't pull out a Hitler meme. This is exhausting, Doctor. I'm not used to spitting everything out in one session. Okay, why... No, we forgot to ask this one. Why do they think you're seeing things? 
Yes, Dr. Decker did think I was delusional when he first met me. He changed his mind after getting to know me better, as I hope you will too. You paid him money, didn't you? Anyways, do you have any family to look after him? I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. Naturally, I inherited everything. Did you kill them too? How did your parents die? <laughs> did you kill them? It was an accident. Oh, uh, that's what you always say. But I don't feel like talking about it at the moment. Of course. Why does nobody want to talk about anything? Ugh. Still have some stuff missing on Claire. So let's see what we've got. See if I can spot any of the stars I might be missing. Tell me about Decker. So, police and that's about it. So we've got two missing here. The star usually refers to one side subject. Okay. So we've got to talk about the police and about Decker. Let's see what we've got. The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. Oh. What help do you need? And we have talked about that one already. Hmm. Uh, prison we talked about. Help you need. Um, dangerous. I assume they think I'm dangerous because I stabbed my husband. Yeah, okay. That's another route to have found that. Okay, tell me about Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Did we talk about suicide again? Is this the same thing that... Are you and Bryce, like, planning Dr. shit? Dr. Decker just had that look about Ooh. him. You know what they say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. I'm the psychiatrist. I hope I'm not saying... And we're at green. Okay, we managed to ferret all those out. So, give me a quick break, and then we'll run around, and we'll do Ellen. Okay, hang on. Okay, so, quick fade in and out, and here we are with Ellen, who at least is a little more relaxed, a kind of restless here. Um... Got kind of an intense look about her, too. I suppose we were going to get to know her, and that those eyes just look a little too bleeding to me. Ugh. Honestly, I don't know which of the two women so far. If, well, Mariana. I, Mariana was just a hybrid, so I don't think she's actually you know, got out and murderous and such. We know that Clara is a tempted murderer at the very least. Kind of got the quantum uncertainty about his husband's life there. Apparently he took brain damage after being stabbed and now wanders through the woods and kills animals and eats them. I honestly think somebody should probably do a welfare check on that lake house. But in any case, let's see what uh, Ellen has to say to us. Who are you? Again, the obvious question. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Hmm. The whole dating thing's coming up. Anyway, so what problems are you here for? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Well, yeah, nursing does, especially in 2020 COVID virus. God, NHS must be taking horrible losses considering they've got the same issues that the America does. Uh, why does it get stressful? It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Uh-huh. Okay. What type of nurse are you? I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. End of life care? Okay, you mentioned dating. Let's get to that. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. What's end of life? I know what it is, but it's um, palliative care. But let's see what she has to say about it. The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. True. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. 
Yeah, getting a little nervous about that. Why are some patients on meds? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated, especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. Okay. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Hmm. Depends on how you want to do it. If, oh, that's a question. I got to answer it. Uh, yes, I'd like to sleep through it, or no, I wouldn't. Don't know, actually. No, I wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. Must have done so. No, I would not like to sleep through it. Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on Earth. You should be able to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. Okay, there's some people who might think that wrong, but the thing is you can have an infinity for a death and not be evil, if you really think about it. It'd be the right person you'd want to have for the, end, for the uh, end of life care. On the other hand, you can have some people who, as we say, the angel of mercy archetype, which help them leave, whether they want to or not. Let's find out which one she is, shall we? Okay, tell me about Decker. I've known a lot of doctors over the years. True. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just there to do their bidding, or worse. True. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Tell, oops. Tell me about your problems. You like first talkative voice. Oh, we already did that one. Um, let's see. Do did you like Decker? He was a bit offbeat, but yeah, I liked him. But then I like most people. Okay. Are you lying about being stressed? Because you have to be at this point. It's not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with. The other nurses. They're mean to me. How are the nurses mean to you Ugh. they call me the angel of death uh -huh. because so many patients have died on my shift i don't think they mean it obviously it's not my fault it just seems to happen that way just hang on a second i'm gonna do a head bang Okay, so, yeah. We, how many killers do we even have on this? Uh, why are the nurses mean to you? Um, how many patients have died? I don't know, sorry. Uh, how many patients have died on your shift? Three last month. That's not super. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Okay, three months. Although one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. So eight and three months for a palliative care nurse is actually not unusual. Especially if she's doing 12-hour shifts six a day, which in some cases the NHS are actually doing. Okay, ah, herbal remedies. Tell me about what? Tell me about the herbal remedies. I'm a qualified herbalist. It's okay, you can laugh. Most yeah. people think herbalism is a joke. I don't. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. Okay, so we've actually now at this point come against a. Uh major issue here in pharmacology is whether or not herbalism, which is deriving it from natural things, is better than, you know, doing it from a biochemistry lab. Now, I have I have a degree in biology, but it's not biochemistry or chemistry, so I'm not fully qualified to actually say this, and I'm not, I'm not a trained herbalist either. 
But generally what I've read is that if you apply a plant and all of its properties together, that usually tends to work slightly better than when you derive the synthesize a single chemical from it. Like again, I'm not qualified to say that whether that's true or not, but there's also the fact that a lot of herbal remedies are toxic, especially to people who don't may have an allergy to um, plants, because that's pretty more common than you think. Chlorophyll is an actual nasty allergen. And there's pollen that might be on the on the uh, plant as well. So you can't really take it into your own hands. If she doesn't have a degree or if her herbalism degree doesn't count for uh, being able to distribute medicines, that's illegal. And we're going to have to report her. I don't think we actually have that option. So, oh yeah, tell me about Hilda. She's one of the crotchety ones. Yeah. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. Are you? She doesn't bother me, though. Okay. Ah. Uh, hmm. What do you know about Decker's murder? I think it's terrible what happened to him. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. Okay, okay. I can find this acceptable. She's obsessed with death. We don't know if she's a murderer, though. There's a good chance she's got access to drugs. She has people who are, um, this, that, who are um, vulnerable and unable to defend themselves. And staffs are always nursing staff is always stretched too thin to be able to monitor the whole thing so do we think that she's playing angel of death and helping people along i don't know yet but we haven't actually come across anything paranormal at the moment so this is kind of weird she's like the fourth patient the other three you know we've got the hybrid we've got the insult that bends time and space and we've got um well yeah the nathanderall husband i don't know if he could consider that paranormal or not i mean he, he's brain damaged by the attack that's one thing. Also, the fact that she's leaving him alone at the lake house for hours is also neglectful. I mean, I honestly, I should be pulling a welfare call on, this, on her. Okay, so how long have you seen Decker? I'm going to say it's all going to be... I'm asking this because it looks like three months is a thing here. Uh, I've been oh. seeing him for about nine months, I think. All right, so three months is just how far back she went for the dead parts. Okay, okay. Why are you married to your work. Yes, I love my job. I love my patients. Even the really crotchety ones, you know? I killed them. God, you should hear what comes out of their mouths. But they're like my children in a way. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Not actually. There's some people who are kind of death midwives to help people transition from this life and onwards. Some case it just being a professional, in some case it actually being a spiritual calling. So Ellen Elin, sorry. Apparently it's a Welsh name. I'm not Welsh. My mum's into all that new age stuff and I think she thought it would make me seem more interesting. Yeah, Elin here is I'd had to double check that one. Um, okay. What is causing the patient's deaths? They're old. People die when they're old. I mean, medically speaking, it's heart failure or organ failure or pneumonia. Or COVID. They're all natural causes, though. <sighs> hmm. Let's do it. Do you enjoy watching patients die? Let's get it right to the point. No, I don't like it. I feel lucky to share that moment with them, hmm. to be there with them when it happens. You know what I mean? Mm, I've been there too. One of the things that can be both sacred and profane. It's not something I really want to talk about. Are you afraid of dying? No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, yeah. but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? 
Hmm. I don't know how to answer that one yet. Let's try this. Leave, leave when now. someone says afterlife, it just makes me think of wispy figures floating around in a white haze. Hmm. Like you get in those new age posters. I don't really go for all that. Okay. Are patients like your children? Okay, why are patients like your children? I don't have any kids. Maybe I will one day, I don't know. At the moment, all my energy is focused on taking care of my patients. Hmm, okay. So, okay. New age. New age. Like auras and healing energy, crystals and all that. It's not really my thing. Okay. Sure. So, you kind of look like you'd be good at it, though. Okay. Do you believe in heaven? I don't believe in God, so I can't really claim to believe in heaven. Do you believe in hell? Hell isn't real. Whoever came up with that idea has a lot to answer for. Do you believe in Valhalla? Why not? I don't really know what that is. It's something to do <laughs> they actually with have something. Vikings, isn't it? Valhalla is from Norse mythology. Oh. Well, there you go. You learn something new every day. Okay, that was funny. Do you believe in reincarnation? I've never really got the idea of reincarnation. I mean, are you still you? Do you know you're still you? And if not, how does that even work? The Browning theory is that the ego dissolves into the greater uh, self and then you, dissolve, you create a new one in the next life. In other words, you still have elements of who you are. The best example, I think, of reincarnation is probably Doctor Who. They're all the same character, but they're all the same... And they're not the same person. Or maybe it's the other way around. Um, tell me about herbalism. 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 I think... The, is that a British thing, or is she just mispronouncing it? Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes, don't you think? You must see it all the time, Doctor. You take one pill, then have to take five other pills to deal with the side effects. Herbs are kinder. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. Giving the wrong combination can be deadly. Can it? Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, do you believe we become one with the universe? Let's keep going with this. Uh, Maybe. Maybe we go somewhere completely beyond what we can imagine. We're only humans after all. We can't possibly comprehend what's really out there. That is the most rational um, point of view I've seen on these people so far when it comes to death. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure our, our feeble meat brains can't figure it out. Okay, so let's see. Anything else that we're going to do her? Are she She's probably still amber. Smell like she's got more on her. No, she's red. We haven't actually gone through it all yet. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, okay. Oh, do you believe in purgatory? I thought I was stuck in purgatory once, but then I realized I was just watching a really, really bad film. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible at jokes. It's okay. Okay, tell me about your problems. 
That one's been relatively good at getting responses. No, no. What problems are you here for? Um, hmm. She's still... Yeah, Ellen, you're still red, which means you've got a lot of stuff I've missed. Are you afraid of dying? No, death doesn't scare me. It's probably because I've been around it so much, but I haven't seen anything that's made me feel like it's something to fear. I don't think death is an end. Don't. I think it's a doorway to another place. I'm just not sure where. Where do you think we go when we die, Doctor? Ah, she's got to answer. I think we reincarnate. No, sorry, I don't know. I don't know where we go when we die. Uh, hmm. I'll have to figure out how to answer that later. But it's green, which means it's not critical. This means I'm missing a critical point here. Decker's murder, Hilda, shift. Yeah, looks, tell me what, no, I would not like to sleep through it. Exactly. I feel like... Criminal. Last moments on Earth. I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. I've seen lots of people die, and it's a special moment. Mm -hmm. There's literally nothing else like it. She gets off on it. Okay, so that's one. Let's see, still, what end of life, what is end of life, who are you? Man, you seem to skip. I'm Elin. I'm got 25 nurse. and I'm got nurse. dating. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Wait, we got those, didn't we? We did the dating, we did the other thing. Um, let me think. Uh, let's see. Do you believe we go nowhere when we die? I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, do -do 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 Got a lot about what she thinks about death, but um, honestly, who are you really, really? It's kind of odd. What end of life? The usual things. Making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, comfortable, and I talk pain, to them, company. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Okay, let's talk about comfort. Comfort, talk. Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should have to face that alone. Okay, cool. We've got that one done. What end of life? I think we've cleared that. Deckers are optional. Let's see. Again, like per usual, if it takes me too long to get to something, I will skip ahead to that point. Not quite there yet, though. Okay, so looks like the who are you one is huge. I'm Elin. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Did Elin. We did dating. Right? We did Elin. We did dating. God. Hmm. Uh, nurse. Huh. Going to have to figure out a couple of things here. Hang on. Okay, from this point here, by the way, I'm probably going to do what I did with Bryce last time. There's probably only like two or three questions left. I'll poke at it a little and see if I can get the sepia flashbacks for you. So we can start the top of it without me having to randomly put in button, press buttons and type things in to see whether or not I can find the last two or three um, replies, as it were. So, in that case, this has been Fantastic World, saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and the infectious madness of Dr. Decker. And if you like this, like, share, subscribe. And just to let you know, I have a thing going on my subscribers is that I have downloaded the, um, if you like this sort of thing, I've downloaded the demo for the Lovecraftian erotic thriller, as it were, called... Um, Lust from Beyond. And if we have to reach 150 subscribers, I will play it blind with full snark. And we're going to see what the hell people think is sexy about Lovecraft. And of course, if you really like it down below, there's the links to the Gumroad payment platform. One dollar will give you bonus material and two probably put about one a month at this point out. Hopefully. Um, the Being in a plague can be kind of stressful uh, when it comes to your, uh, you know, comes to your uh, publishing schedule. And 
of course, two dollars gives you early access. There's also spurfing goals. The next uh, stretch goal is the Secret World Legends Lore Hunter series, which if you're not watching the series, you probably don't know about. And I go over it a lot on that series, so I won't go any further at the moment. In any case, I'll see you next time. Thank you.